love you, Kevin. We love you, Kevin. Relaxing vacation or have a vacation where you do absolutely everything. Uh, oh, you said instead of them. Have a relaxing vacation or have a vacation where you do absolutely everything. Like say y'all had an itinerary. So, so I, that's kind of hard to explain, you know, to decide because I, I like a, a chill, relax, like a vacation, but then I also like so, to do shit. I would say if I with my man, I want to chill. Yeah. But if I with my but friends, not even that because it's like it's yeah. some shit on your on your checklist that you want to do with your man. Yeah. But just being in that place with your man, go yeah, do it. Yeah, because me and Kevin, yeah. every time we went somewhere, we never had, like, real plans. Like, we would just go just to enjoy fun. each other's company, you know? See, that's how I was. And we'll just go with the flow. We'll that's try new foods and shit. You put nothing on the Yeah, why not? <laughs> that's how I was, man, that white boy. <laughs> 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 Damn, that nigga was funny. Because, like, we swung with dogs and shit, you feel me? Like, oh, y'all had an itinerary section? No, we haven't had an itinerary. We just, just went with the flow. Yeah, that's a relaxing vacation. Yeah, yeah. Nothing planned. No deadline for me. But right. like what we did have planned was like going to the Mayweather fight. Um, more than OC Polo G. You feel me? Like we had that already planned before we got there. Mm -hmm. But like the dolphins just came up and then just came up. That was definitely fine. Right now I would love a relaxing vacation where I can just literally just mm -hmm. I, I need that right now. Okay. Look at me, you want a freak, huh? Would you ever, would you rather have an X-ray vision <laughs> or have the ability to fly? I'd rather really have X-ray. X-ray vision yeah. or the ability to fly? I'd rather have the ability to fly because bitch, I can get that fast. You see how long it takes me to get it? No fast. Damn it. Yeah. You feel me though? You see how long yeah, it takes me Yeah, I don't know about that. But would your wings get tired? <laughs> bitch, you ain't got no wings. You're just doing this. <laughs> bitch, that's telling for <laughs> Let me see. You gotta have wings to fly. <laughs> so what? Like you ain't got no wings. Your wings but don't fly out. Me. Bro, let's take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> we got shots ready. Come up. You want some white soda? Mm -hmm. Can you take no, okay. I ain't gonna lie. We told us go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go back some. I didn't want to really be all in it, but it can be. I don't know. My eyes still puffy. My face still still feels. Oh, look, we'll be okay. They know what the fuck going on. I've been crying for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> now who pressed play on that? Kevin. It was me. No. <laughs> fuck that, brother man. <laughs> okay. We're <Yeah>. home. <laughs> that was still like that. Right. Hey. We cheers to my sisters being here. Yep. Thank y'all. <laughs> mm. <sighs> See, this is how I know I was fucked up on Sick and Lonely when that was not Jose because I would have been told already. We had more than four shots. What you have? Mm. The, I asked for, I requested Jose, but I don't know what they was giving me. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it is not just like Jose <laughs> That shit tastes like E and J. Who tastes like that? I ain't gonna say J. Who just went? Um, can I have it? Um, oh, no, Nisha did so. X-ray vision or fly? Oh, that was me there. Okay. Would you rather have a partner who cooks all the meals or have a partner who does all the cleaning? I'd rather have a partner that does all the cleaning. I rather have a partner that does all the cooking because I like to clean and it, it that's my mental. You know, I mean I like to clean, but don't get me wrong, I hate when it's dishes. I don't like doing dishes. I don't know. I think I'd rather cook. 
You rather cook? Yeah. Kevin used to love to cook. Like, he really could cook, though. So, like, I ain't never have to worry about right. shit. I was going, you cook, I clean. And that's what I'm going to say. I don't want every, a bitch to ever think they mother say now you can't cook no more because Kanaja would come out with her yeah. and fucking fed the shit up. She be, period. <laughs> she be getting down. <laughs> Fuck your BYU. Fuck. I, I never said you couldn't because I was just scared. I'd be like, call me in so I can come over. <laughs> I was scared. That was my thing. I didn't think she couldn't because I was just nervous. Yeah. Like, I don't know, sister. Bobby it's my turn. That motherfucker gross. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, this cuz called Trisami. Trisami. That's like fish. Cuz, cuz, cuz. Yes. Disrespected by someone I should call brother. Wow. Yeah. 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 Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. been a week it's been a whole full week since the incident occurred um i don't know i'm still kind of like numb to all this 
um, I wouldn't say I'm new to any of this because I've been through this before. So I kind of know how to like handle and manage my um, emotions and stuff. But um, it's still pretty new on me. Um, I really don't want to let it register until after the funeral because I already know like when all those people that's like really close to me I shut down completely and like I, I literally just say fuck everybody and I don't want to do that until after the funeral just so I can have all the arrangements and stuff together and I just don't be in this little confined ass box but um yeah I forced myself to come out the house today to do laundry because I have to go back to work obviously um, yeah, it's time for me to go back to work. I have bills to pay. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My head still fucking hurt. I really haven't eaten much. Still not really sleeping. Usually, like, I'm a person who sleeps, and then, like, I can wake up and tell you, like, my whole dream. I literally, I feel like I've been having dreams but I haven't been remembering the dreams. No, y'all, that's my sister. All right, y'all. I just got back from the laundromat. I'm literally really tired right now. Like, beyond tired, honestly. But I'm trying to do everything that I can to, like, stay out of my bed. So I'm sitting on the floor. I'm watching this little show on Netflix. It's called Evil. It's actually pretty good. Me and Kevin had started it, but, you know, literally was two episodes away from finishing it. But I'm finishing it because I know he would have wanted me to. Um, My mom, well, my family, they all want me to move back home, but I honestly don't feel like um, that's the smartest thing to do. <clears throat> Just because I know that you know, there's a lot of negativity at home, and I doubt somebody would ever say anything to my face. But if somebody had the boss to say something to my face, I would, I don't want to have to fight. Just because I have my nursing degree on my like on the line, and I already know how people in racing is like they'll pick and pick until you want to fight, and then once you whoop their ass, then they want to call the police and stuff like that. So. I'm just trying to stay away from all that because I worked hard for my nursing degree and I'm in school right now for my bachelor's degree of nursing. And I wish I would just let little old Racine, you know, have any type of control over my emotions. So therefore, I'm staying put and I'm just going to take it day by day. Literally, I'm gonna just trying to take it day by day and... You know, deal with my emotions as pro as appropriately as possible for myself. Um, I feel like people are kind of like upset to the fact that, you know, on my last video that I wasn't crying or anything um, and that I had glasses on. My eyes were red as hell as well as other things, but um, that's nothing that I want to speak on right now. And um, I just feel like I don't have to cry for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never been the type to get on live and to be screaming on the phone or you know, posting videos of myself crying because who the fuck gonna wipe my tears off? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My mic cut out. I hate when they do that. It literally messes up the whole video. But um, like I was saying, you know, like um, throughout this whole little week of going through this, um, I have had so many positive reactions and prayers. And I am so grateful for that because, you know, like in times like this, people really do be needing that, you know? But um, I'm just kind of ready for all this to be over with because um, I'm just ready to go into my own little bubble and just like, you know, grieve how I want to grieve, grieve how I grieve. Um, I suck at grieving because when I grieve, I literally shut the whole world out and like, I just mind my business. That's why I'm really glad that I'm out here. Because, like, I can grieve in peace and, like, nobody knows me out here except, like, a few people. But they don't know, like, they don't know me like that to the point where I have to explain to them, you know, the story about me and my husband or nothing. Well, I don't have to explain that to nobody. But, you know, like, nobody's going to be questioning me or looking at me sideways and stuff like that. So I'm happy about that. Um, I did want to um, read this passage or the scripture that I had um 
found in my Bible book. Um, it was a long time ago when I wrote this. Um, this is from like the beginning of the book. It's in Genesis. As you can see, I have all my scriptures and stuff right here. I'm currently in Kings right now. But I just wanted to go back through my book just so I can like see like, um, you know, like, I don't know. I be feeling like I be getting messages from God, but sometimes I be feeling like um, I don't, I can't put them together the right way. So I just went back and literally just like, um, was just trying to find out, you know, what am I going through right now and um, what can I do to stay strong in the situation? So this is from Genesis uh, 41. It's called From the Pit to the Palace. As y'all can see, the pit for me would be racing because, yeah. Ooh. But it was basically just saying, um, because Joseph was hated by his brothers, he was thrown in a pit to die. But God had other plans. Joseph was sold as a slave to Egypt, became a servant to a wealthy ruler, thrown into prison for a crime he didn't commit then was free from prison and ended up in the palace, second in command behind the wealthy ruler, uh, Pharaoh. How did Joseph get from the pit to the palace? He made that journey by staying positive, not being bitter, being confident in God and trusting him. Although you may be labeled as something, if you refuse to have a negative mentality and continue to stand tall when you appear to be defeated by many occasions and keep the right attitude, God will continue to stand with us. You can start in the palace and end up in a pit. I, my handwriting suck, y'all. I don't know what I wrote right here. Nothing but to overcome all obstacles and succeed. Many people are given great opportunities and still do nothing with their lives. Joseph was a dreamer. He had big plans and refused to give them up. The devil does not want us to dream and have visions of better things. He wants us to stay in the pit and be do-nothings. Make up your mind right now to do something great for God. No matter where you started, you can have a great finish. If people have... If people have mistreated you and abused you, don't waste your time on revenge. Leave it in God's hands. Trust that God will bring justice into your life. Know what you want out of life and what you want to do. Be confident, bold, open, plain, straightforward. Decide to leave your mark in this world when you depart from this earth. People should know that you have been here. Even if you are in a pit today, God can still raise you up and do great things in you and through you. And, you know, that just made me feel like, you know, the circumstance that I'm going through right now, um, like this literally could have been anybody, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And I just love that every time I open up my Bible or I open up my books that, you know, refer to the Bible, it's always on a chapter that I really needed in that moment. So and right now I'm in Kings and it was just telling the story about how Solomon became, um, you know, the ruler and stuff um, after his dad had passed away. And instead of just like praying for like money and all the gold and stuff in the world, he prayed for wisdom. And I just felt like that was just like so amazing because like when we do pray, you know, sometimes we do get to asking God, you know, oh God, can you increase my finances and can you fix this and can you do that? But in reality, when we pray to God, yes, he is listening. He's always listening. But I think we tend to forget to pray about the right things, you know, like, okay, yes, we might need the financial support or, you know, other things in our lives to be fixed, but think bigger than that. Think deeper than that, you know, um, I felt like the wisdom thing from Solomon was just like on point because I pray every day. It had got to the point where now I'm praying twice a day. I'm just trying to gradually get myself um, back in tune with God. Um, like I know, I had got baptized back in um, July. I got baptized at the end of July. I just felt like, you know, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes life really be talking to me. And I just be listening. I just be going with the flow. And I love that about myself because I don't feel like I would be where I am today if I didn't listen to those signs and stuff. So I am happy that, you know, Kevin got me up and moved me out of Wisconsin. I am because, you know, he was preparing me for this. And I'm so grateful for him. You know, he the one who talked me to, into going back to school and paying school off right away and getting my CNA license and stuff. And 
buying my first fast car and putting money like he done taught me so much stuff and it just feel good that I I was able to return the favor like I taught him so much stuff as well as far as like family family is gonna be your number one at the end of the day that's why I'm so glad that he was able to get in tune with my family my family different like we locked in locked in but um you know like I'm just happy you know and I just wish that I would have forced a couple of the issues that we did have a little bit harder because I know a lot of people probably feeling down and out right now about their relationships with them, with him. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. God does, God does no wrong. God does no wrong. I'm just trying to stay, stay still. I'm trying to acknowledge and remain in my faith because I know that God don't play about me. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but God does not play about me. And I don't play about him. So, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a long road job for me. And I'm just so happy that I have the courage to just be like, I'm not stopping anything because this my life has to go on and if he was here he would be saying the same thing like life you have to keep going you can't just you know so yeah it's gonna take me some time y'all i'm gonna be in and out i'm still in the process of figuring out my sleep schedule and the days of the week like i don't know it's a lot but i'm trying and I'm still here. Well, I'm grateful. That's all I can be. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. I got a little bear, y'all, with his heartbeat in it. Like his real EKG. How cute is that? Okay, back up, Loki. This is not for you. His kids got one as well as his parents and his grandmother. And then I'm going to make my mom one because I feel like that was her son too. So she deserves one, you know. Ha, oh, my baby, y'all. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let me tap out before I get to crying and shit. And like I said, I ain't crying on the internet for y'all, so. Hey y'all, uh, so um, these were the last flowers that he had bought for me. Um, I'm pretty sure I added them in the last video. Can't really remember, but these are the last flowers that he bought me and they're dying. As you can see, they're falling off <laughs> right in front of me. But I just wanted to um, collect them real quick so I can take a bath in them. You know, like I'm starting back up. Well, I guess I wouldn't say starting back up. I'm tuning back in because I did take a week off of my spiritual stuff just because of what I was dealing with. I just couldn't find me, couldn't find it in myself to actually like pray and, and sit down and talk to God. But I have started back up um, because, you know, um, you know, everything is a test in this life. So, you know, I just want God to know that my faith in him is still strong and Taking a bath is a is a form of meditation. So I'm about to take a bath in these flowers and just meditate. Oh my god, yeah. I swear this be the, the best freaking part. Oh, these lashes. Oh. I love me a good snatch off. I don't know. I just love for my face and stuff for everything literally to be so perfect and clean.
Yeah. You done, babe? Y'all yeah. yeah, will watch out for a minute. Uh, they really got us in here working. I'm sweating bullets. Got us in here sweating bullets. I don't know how my wig is lasting this long right now. They got us doing a full blown workout. I cannot wait till I see the video though. It's gonna be so cute. Um, my makeup. take a shower and do an outfit change because I've been here for like six hours now but the lace is still lacing because I did bring my band thank god for that I am bloated because I did feed the sandwiches so yeah but I still look good so no worries about that <sighs> that bitch is tired y'all I'm glad I had extra socks extra underwear soap and towels and stuff in my bag because baby uh-uh. I was hot. Like, really sweating. We learned a whole choreography trampoline dance workout. <laughs> it was dope, though. So, I really can't wait till y'all see it. I can't wait till the video is uploaded. <sighs> God. And then the women that I have met today. Oh, my God, y'all. Phenomenal. Like, for all of us to be here in this video, like, everybody has, like, some type of career outside of this that's just, like, top-notch. Like, sit me at the table with the bosses, guy. You know what you're doing. Sit me at the table with the good girls, the girls with goals, the girls with motivation. <sighs> all right, y'all. I had to put some more lotion on, but let me get my butt back out here. And finish what I came to do because I was going to go to work after this, but I can't. I, I'm ready to get in my bed, eat eat some pizza, and watch the Avengers because no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was way too much lotion, evidently. Oh, God. Not right now. 
fucking hours later y'all we pooped but we are in overtime so that is cool with me let me my extra coins but i am tired this is the last scene and then i'm going home and even though i took a bath yesterday i'm about ready to take another one tonight so yeah yeah I cannot find my little piece that goes to the bottom of my phone for my speaker. It's gonna really piss me off if I have to fucking um order a new one. But anyways, um yesterday was very much successful. Um I don't know if I said this, but the situation kind of like really like literally fell into my lap. So I'm gonna give that to God and Kevin because he already knew what the fuck was going on. Like my boy up in heaven doing his big one. So uh, yeah, shout out to my boy K Show. Um, I am in a great mood today. Um, you know, I was able to do a lot of stuff that I really don't want to talk about right now, but I am in a really great mood. Um, it was raining when I first woke up. It is 3.30 right now. Um, I just got myself together so I can go to work. Um, the sun's out, y'all. It's Memorial Day weekend. I will be home this upcoming week. But I did want to show y'all what I grabbed from Sheen like three weeks ago. And it just now came. I got this shirt. Very much cute. It matches my shoes. Oh matches the kicks that Keisha bought me like three years ago <laughs> literally only wore them like once or twice but yeah and then i got this shirt it's a crop top the rise because um yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the rise yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm one of them. Definitely one of them. I was just trending on Facebook a week ago. I'm going to be trending on Facebook real soon because what I got in store, they going to be real, real mad at me. <laughs> real mad. And then I got this one. It's a crop top as well. It says Black Girls Hustle because y'all already know. Y'all already know. If you ain't got multiple, in multiple streams of income, yeah 
get get, get there. And if you ain't got more than one hater, get them. Get them. Because right now, I feel so motivated. And I'm going to give that to the haters. I'm going to give that motivation to the haters because y'all really turn me up. Y'all, chapter five of my life has been fucking absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. But God makes no mistakes. God makes no mistakes. So we push it forward. We're going to do what we got to do. Okay, so they're going to be right there with me 100% of the way. And y'all just gonna have to be mad. <laughs> y'all gonna have to be mad because your girlfriend is turning all the way up. Baby, we not 30 yet. We not in them 30s yet, baby. I'm turning all the way up. Summertime here too. Oh yeah. I'm feeling real crazy. Real crazy. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? What type of grieving is this bitch doing? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. But let me um go ahead and get my ass up in this car on my way to work. And um, if I don't check back in tonight, which I probably won't, cause I'm gonna be tired. I'm already tired from yesterday. But gotta get to this. Gotta get. Gotta 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 gotta, gotta get to these coins, you know. But if I don't check back in tonight, which I probably won't, like I said. Um, yeah. Thank y'all for watching my video. I hope to see y'all all really soon, cause I will be in racing this upcoming week um Keisha's birthday is the 28th which is tuesday yeah tuesday because memorial day monday so his birthday tuesday so yeah his funeral will be next week saturday if y'all don't know now y'all do funeral will be, will be next saturday so i will be in home for a week um yeah get in tune get in tune real t get in tune tell a friend to tell a friend how about that Tell a friend, tell a friend. And for all my new followers, I thank y'all for following me. Um, I would really, I really hope that y'all enjoy my journey. I have been on my spiritual journey for the last few months. And as y'all can see, my life just went into spirals, but um, we ain't spiraling down, we spiraling up. So yeah, thank y'all for being here. Um, to all my previous followers, I love y'all so much and I thank y'all for the support. We is almost there. <sighs> I'm excited, y'all. I'm really excited. I'm excited about my testimony. Like this day next year, I can't wait to see like what the year really is about to do to me. But I don't wanna talk about that right now. I'm gonna get outside because I need some fresh air. I've been in this house all morning, all night. So yeah, see y'all next week. Difficult.